This is Columbia Classical Ballet's adaptation of The Nutcracker, a two-act performance featuring 110 people across the ballet's company and home studio. So I really develop a connection for each and every one of my students. Um, so not only am I their coach, but I consider them like my little dance daughters. Brianna Taylor is the 23-year-old owner and teacher at the Palmetto Conservatory incorporating 41 of her students in the studio's first major performance. But for the only mother-daughter combo on stage, this year's Nutcracker marks the last dance before a life-altering surgery. It is. It's a big deal, and as a mom, I'm terrified. But, um, you know, she's my world, so if I can give this to her, we're going to do it. Erica Marie is the mother of a fourth grader named Adalia, living a high-speed life of athletics, dance, and entrepreneurship while braving an incurable disease. Adalia has a very rare blood disorder called diamond black fan anemia, and what that basically means is she doesn't make her own red blood cells. So every month, she goes to the Children's Hospital, and they give her a blood transfusion from an anonymous donor. Erica's daughter has been tethered to an IV since she was six weeks old. I was trying to get my splits, but that failed. Now 10 years of age, Adalia refuses to let DBA slow her down. I think I would define myself as, this is just my opinion, but like a superstar in everything. Confidence, backed up by a life's journey detailed on her website, AdaliasAdventures.com. The whole reason I want to have the website is so that people can be like, she pushed through that, maybe I should too, and inspire other people to do things that they think they maybe can't do with DBA and then become like superstars at it. Now, Adalia shares act one of the Nutcracker with her mother before undergoing the closest thing to a cure for DBA, a bone marrow transplant. So um, being able to share this with her and share the magic of the theater before she goes into something as uh, dangerous and you know a little bit scary for everybody is transplant. I mean, how many moms dance with their children in the Nutcracker? So it's pretty special. Adalia's recovery could include up to a year in full isolation, marking the importance of this dance. When I'm older, if I write an autobiography, people will be like, wow. And if my like kind of enemies, frenemies ever find out about it, they'll be like, maybe I should have been nicer to her. For WIS News 10, I'm Andrew Fancher.